common atomic symbol, we can work out which element the atom belongs to. We can work out the number of protons, the number of electrons, and the number of neutrons it contains. The first bit of information is the large letter X on this symbol, which is the chemical symbol. We can look up on the periodic table the element that corresponds to this atomic symbol. So a large letter H, for example, would be hydrogen. Mg would be magnesium. And we could look up Br on the periodic table, we would see that it's bromine. The next bit of information is the atomic number. This is written as a subscript to the left of the atomic symbol. It's equal to the number of protons that the atom has, and in a neutral atom it's also equal to the number of electrons. So for hydrogen we see a subscript 1, because hydrogen has an atomic number of 1, which means it's got one electron and one proton. Magnesium has a subscript 12, which means it's got an atomic number of 12, so it has 12 protons and 12 electrons. And bromine has an atomic number of 35, which means it's got 35 protons and 35 electrons. The next bit of information is the mass number, so this is written as a superscript to the left of the atomic symbol. The mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. It's the mass of the atom. And because we already know the number of protons from the atomic number, we can use this to work out the number of neutrons. So the number of neutrons is equal to this mass number minus the number of protons. So here's our atomic symbol for hydrogen with a 1 as a superscript. It's got a mass number of 1. But we've already worked out that it's only got one proton which means the number of neutrons is the mass number minus the number of protons, must be 1 minus 1, no neutrons. But magnesium has a mass number of 24. We worked out on the other slide that it has 12 protons, so it must have 24 minus 12 equals 12 neutrons. And lastly, 79 bromine, mass number of 79. We worked out that it has 35 protons, so the number of neutrons is 79 minus 35, it has 44 neutrons. Atoms can also lose or gain electrons to become negatively charged or positively charged. If they lose electrons, they've now got more protons than electrons, and so they have a positive charge. And we show this on the atomic symbol on the right-hand side. The positive sign says it means it's lost electrons, and the number tells us how many electrons it's lost. So a cation, such as H+, has lost an electron. Instead of writing 1 plus or plus 1, we just put a positive sign if there's only one electron gone. So it's lost one electron. A neutral hydrogen atom we saw has one electron and one proton. So if it's lost an electron, it has one minus one, none left over. A magnesium atom has 12 electrons. Magnesium 2 plus has a positive charge of 2. So if a neutral atom has 12 protons and 12 electrons, a magnesium that's lost two electrons has 12 minus 2, 10 electrons left over. Atoms can also gain electrons to form anions. Now they have more electrons than protons and have a negative charge. And we show this with a negative sign on the right-hand side of the atomic symbol. And again, the number of electrons is given is given by the number. So H minus has gained an electron has a negative charge of minus one. A neutral hydrogen atom has one proton and one electron, but this H minus has gained an electron, so it now has one plus one, two electrons. Bromine minus also has a negative charge of minus one. A bromine atom has 35 protons, and if it's neutral, 35 electrons, but a Br minus has gained an electron, so it has 35 plus one, 36 electrons. Lastly, O2- minus has a negative charge of minus 2. It's gained 2 electrons. A neutral oxygen atom has 8 protons and 8 electrons. So if it's gained 2 electrons, it now has 8 plus 2, 10 electrons.